rise. Honorable Judge Wong is presiding. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Sit down, everyone. Calling the case of the Majlis Amana Rayat Mara versus Dato Abdul Rahim bin Abdul Halim and others. So we can make a start now. We start from the plaintiff side. Young Arif, may it please the court. Today I am the senior counsel acting on behalf of plaintiff in this proceeding together with my co-counsel, the way my two learned friends as the defendant. I will be speaking for two minutes addressing the issue, which is whether the requisition notice issued by the plaintiffs fulfilled by the shareholding requirement according to the Articles of Association under Companies Act 2016, Section 311. My co-counsel will be speaking for another two minutes addressing the issue, which is whether the rejection of requisition notice a breach of duties by directors has complied with the Articles of Association under Companies Act 2006, Section 311. If the bench does not have any preliminary inquiries, may I proceed with my submission? Yes, you may proceed now. Briefly, on 12 March 2018, MARA issued a requisition notice to Met Movie Cars Board of Directors to convince an extraordinary general meeting for the purpose of passing two ordinary solutions which were to accept the UMV offer at a purchase consideration of two ringgit 56 cents per share, which is resolution one, and for resolution two, to appoint Muhammad Zaki Benjali and Wong Feli to make movie class board of director. Therefore, plaintiff respectfully submits the issuance of requisition notice has fulfilled the shareholding requirement under the article association and section 311 of the Companies Act 2016, which is at least 10% of the shareholding has met. I will now proceed with the next issue, which is whether rejection of requisition notice a breach of duties by directors has complied with the Article of Association under Companies Act 2016, Section 311. Unfortunately, uh, the requisition notice by Mara was rejected by the first to part defendant during the Board of Directors meeting on 26 of March 2018. The plaintiff submit that the rejection of the requisition notice was a breach by the first to part defendant of their duties under the Article and Section 311 of the Company Act 2016. That's all yang Arif. Thank you. Okay. Is the defendant ready for the case? Yes, I am ready, Yang Arif. Okay, you may start now. I am the senior counsel acting on behalf of the defendant in this proceeding together with my co-counsel. Defendant claimed that on 26 March 2018, in the minutes of the board meeting, revealed that the requisition notice was defective as resolution 1 had to be passed by special resolution, whereas the requisition notice had referred to ordinary resolution according to Article 75 of the Article of Association. Next, for the issue of whether the rejection of requisition notice a breach of duties by directors has complied with the Articles of Association under Companies Act 2016, Section 311, the defendant declared that the pursuant to Section 211 of the Companies Act 2016 and Article 118 of Met Bumika Mara Sindran Mahad Articles of Association, the management and control of the business and affairs of Met Bumika Mara Sindran Mahad lies within the exclusive purview of its board of directors and therefore the said board has unfettered discretion to reject the offer date 7 March 2018 by UMW Holdings Berhad. That's all, Yang Arif. Okay. Plaintiff's counsel, would you care to make a closing argument to the jury? Thank you, Yang Arif. 
On 12 April 2018, Mara issued the notice of extraordinary general meeting to convince an extraordinary general meeting on 30 April 2018 to table resolution 1 and resolution 2. Meanwhile, the defendant circulated a director circular resolution to appoint the fifth and sixth defendants to make Mubikar's board of directors without Mara's representative and received the signed director circular resolution on 12 April 2018. It shows that the action of the defendant was a breach of duties of the directors. Excuse me, Yang Arif, I would like to object. Yes, you may. I cannot agree with the summation of Mara, whether it is by an inadvertent omission to amend Article 137 or whatever. The wording of Article 137 merely says that director circular resolution has to be signed by a majority of the director of the company and does not stipulate that one of them must be the Mara representative. Thank you. That's all, Yang Arif. Okay, we will take a recess to allow the jury to reach the final decision. After hearing the both judgment, I have come to the conclusion that Mara has fulfilled the shareholding requirement under the Article of Association and Section 311 of the Companies Act 2016. The rejection of the requisition notice was a breach by the first to four defendants of their duties under the Articles and Section 311 of the Companies Act 2016. It was obvious that the real or predominant reason the first to four defendants appointed the fifth and sixth defendants as additional directors was to prevent Mara from appointing two additional directors at the extraordinary general meeting. In this case, since the right to make recommendation is not provided for in the, in the article of association and the resolution is not a special resolution, the recommendation of the shareholders will not be binding on the board, but the board must still consider it and act in the best interest of the company. Since it is settled law, that a director had to exercise his powers in good faith and in the best interest of the company, it is not correct to say, as sought in the counterclaim, that the directors have an affected discretion to reject the offer by UMW Holding Berhad. The board can only reject the offer if that course of action is in the best interest of the company. Accordingly, I am unable to grant an order in terms of prayer of the counterclaim of the seven defendants. I dismiss the prayers in the counterclaim and order cost of 20,000 ringgit to Mara payable by the first to six defendants jointly and severally and the cost of 10,000 ringgit each to the eighth defendant and the ninth defendant to be paid by Med Bumikar. All costs are subject to the allocator. Originating summons allowed and counterclaim dismissed. 